don't listen to this. I don't care. I don't care. Anyway, back to the as soon as you bring up anime, man, I'm, I'm just out. saying. I'm just saying. It makes sense. <laughs> Why are they stronger when they fuse? <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm ashamed. <laughs> all right, so Mr. R and I studying are going to step up next. We have a fully international match here. I studying Mr. R against Kameme and Abadango. Oh, this is awesome. This is a very fun match. This is going to be great. Shout out to Smash Man. Bring us all together. <laughs> we, we got a shot that you guys can't see. Why don't they put that in the main cam? Oh my gosh. There you go. Because <laughs> that oh, there, oh, there there it is. Let's get a zoom. Let's get a zoom real quick. Slow zoom. Slow zoom. <laughs> he sleeps. <laughs> he's out. All right. He does so much for Smash that he gets That's it, yeah, he's out, man. That's what it is. <laughs> he's done so much for Smash today that he's tired. That's what it is. So life, life he lives, man. Mars better lend him his pajamas. Oh. Could you imagine if Smash got big enough that, like, pajama companies started, like, sponsoring? And they, like, sponsored Mars and Pug West? Oh, I'll take it. That would be tough. That's why I fall asleep in as many DF races as I can, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get them to send me a DX so I can just pass out on one. That's smart, dude. That's smart. Uh, you just keep doing, like, 24-hour streams and fall asleep at hour 6. And be like, oh, man, I couldn't make <laughs> it. I couldn't make it, guys. Oh, dude. Not again. Just 18 hours this of you. This DX Racer is too comfortable. 18 hours of you in a DX Racer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's smart. DX Racer, are you watching? Hit us up, man. We need some chairs. All right, so Mr. R and I studying. I studying come... Coming uh, straight off kind of an upset in uh, singles. He actually defeated Ally 3-2 a very close set. And right now he's teaming with Mr. R. We're going to see Sheik Sheik, Meta Knight Greninja. Let's see how this goes. Final Destination is the first pick. And they're not opting for the uh, double Mega Man team. No, like I said, yeah, this is what they first started off um, in doubles earlier today. Actually, round one, they played uh, Sheik and Meta Knight, and they lost their round one to... Obviously a lower seat, a very a much, much lower seated team. Yep. Um, so, and then they quickly went Mega Man, double Mega Man. So I guess depending on the matchup, however they feel. Could be. Maybe, maybe Mega Man has a really bad matchup against Greninja. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that sounds right. Like there's just something goofy going on there. Like I would ask D1, but you know. Anyway, final destination is uh, <laughs> let's see how this game is going right now. Bless his heart, man. He's asleep. He's, yeah, he's done. He's done. All right, so Final Destination, first game. Uh, I feel like this would favor all of these characters, actually. All four of these guys are very good on this stage, so I'm not surprised that this is where we struck to. Yeah, I guess it's just, I don't know. They, <laughs> maybe the counter fix is when it really matters. They say whatever the first stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we Team Japan versus Team Dutch here. Good stuff. Down throw into Sheik up smash. It's not particularly easy to connect, but apparently they've got it down. These guys know what they're doing. Kamehameha right now is kind of a linchpin of the team, only at 76%. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about Greninja in doubles. I can't tell if he's, like, really good or just in the way sometimes. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I can't tell if he's... Like he does, he kind of picks up alley oops sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah, his grab isn't really reliable because it's it's so slow. Yeah. So you know he doesn't get he doesn't get as many or doesn't throw as many alley oops. So. I feel you. Yeah. Good stuff right there from Mr. R. Abadago trying to follow him up there with those up airs, but not quite enough. Mamey kind of sitting back, trying to hold on to that stock. And the problem is Greninja doesn't really have many conventional kill setups. He obviously has them, but they're all a little kind of convoluted. So I feel like taking the stock off is going to be pretty difficult for a Sheik Greninja team. I want to see. A lot of Greninja's kill setups kind of rely on your misaction, like yeah. your your you know mistake where you air dodge into his forward smash, or he has to guess a lot. Uh, not well, yeah, everything aside from the footstools, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen yeah, a lot true. of crazy stuff with footstools, and I've definitely seen I study and do them. So yeah, it's harder to do that in doubles. Yeah, in doubles you don't get as many, like you don't have as much space, don't have as much time to do that kind of sure. stuff. So. And uh, Abadango just throwing out a million shuttle loops. Not really connecting. There's the back throw. Goes for Greninja. Up smash and somehow Abadango flying, flying off the side. A little surprised by that. It's been a really weird match so far. Yeah, a lot of back and forth. And keep in mind, guys, this is a uh, loser's bracket, and this is two out of three. 
The first to uh, lose two here is going to be out of the tournament. Yeah, and these, these are definitely two teams I'd expect to see pretty far in the top eight. I'm definitely glad that Mr. R and I still being uh, choosing teams this tournament. I don't know how often they team if it happens in Europe, but I'm glad to see it here. And Mr. R, or, I'm sorry, I studying getting to come through the grace of the compendium. Oh yeah, shout out to that. So everybody that uh, donated to that in the chat really appreciate it. Got I studying come out here. I'm sure Ally doesn't appreciate it, but <laughs> we all do. Ally didn't. Uh, he didn't donate. <laughs> he probably <laughs> retracted. It. He retracted his donation. <laughs> Isn't it just so stupid? <laughs> Bangs his head a few times. There you go. Oh, Alright, so uh Yeah wow, Meta Knight's up though just so much weaker than Kirby's not It's even unreal. Like, yeah, it's it's crazy. I wonder why it even has the same animation, because he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that in the games at all. Yeah. Do you remember when uh Kirby's up throw, I think during the invitational it was, was so ridiculously strong. strong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine if we had that Kirby. Oh, look at that! He's got it! He did it! Oh, so wow, that's, like, that's exactly what we said wouldn't happen in doubles. It happens. <laughs> I mean, his boy's on the left side getting bodied by Mr. R. Kameme just kind of got zoned out. And and listen, that's what Mr. R is awesome at. He's the ledge trap god. Yeah, it's true. You just get somebody off on the side and they can't come back. Kameme just totally shut off from the rest of the stage. Good stuff for my studying. Yeah, I always said Mr. R is Mr. No Fun Allowed. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, Void, Void is all about that fun, but Mr. R will just yeah. bully you until you die. He's a big meaty. <laughs> That's why he wears that leather jacket, man. He's like a high school bully. <laughs> There's the up smash, 87%. All right, so uh, yeah, she and Greninja do it. Wow. That's uh, yeah. That's a that's a unconventional team to say the least. I think it's really fun to watch. They're both very fast. Yeah. Uh, very like. Uh, they both rack up damage pretty pretty sure. fast at low percents, and I, don't know, I wonder if we're gonna see the, the double Mega Man. Um, against Sheik Greninja, I don't know actually. I have no clue. You can see Abadango kind of thinking, pulling on his chin, and they're both nodding. We it see a token a, getting picked up. It was a really close match, so I, I guess I don't know. It could go either way, but this could potentially be their last match of the entire tournament. Exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, you really gotta. Th this pick is gonna matter. This is a very, very expensive pick here. <laughs> yeah, this is huge. There it so is. Gonna be double Mega Man. Had to see how it goes. The red and green. I don't know. This is either gonna be like the best match of their life, or they're gonna be really, really disappointed if they, yeah. they chose. Because this, this is a lot. This is top twelve. Um, I, I, as far as I know, they. This tournament doesn't pay out to top 12, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'd be surprised if they did pay out to top 12, but at the end of the day, like if they if they lose this match, they're going home without any money. Yeah. So right now, back to final destination for game two. These guys deciding stage was not the deciding factor in that last match. Ice Dying just hopping all around. Greninja is such a wild character, man. Yeah, he. I think um, not only is he like an unfamiliar, unfamiliar matchup. Like his movements are so unconventional, or some of the stuff he does is just really hard to follow. It's like, yeah, especially Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is good. Yeah, <laughs> very strong. So they got double Metal Blades, just kind of throwing them. And noises, I love it. Yeah, they're just. Uh, this is what they do. Like you see them very close to each other uh, a lot of times in doubles, kind of cover each other with, with pellets. I think I said earlier, once you get past one set of pellets, you just have to take another set. Yeah. This is already starting off a little bit better than the first match. If only slightly. Yeah. Right now, I think it, it's all dependent on Kameme, who only is 49%. They've got to find a way to take out this stock early. Uh, they can get a back air, maybe an up tilt, but that's a little risky. you got to wonder how they're going to take these stocks off. Yeah. The only match I've seen of these guys have been them losing to um, Ryuga and Salem. So, I mean, you said you saw them earlier. How do they normally get stocks off before? <laughs> Lots of back airs, man. Okay. Yeah, back airs off stage, lots of edge guarding, but it's going to be much harder to edge guard. It's <laughs> well, there's one. Uh, it's going to be hard to edge guard, you know, Sheik and Greninja. Sure. Greninja may be a little bit easier, but Sheik is just probably not going to make up those back airs. Nice. Oh no! Oh no! Miss spacing on that. Yeah, that looked good, but not quite. A little bit of miss spacing, but it doesn't really hurt them too much. Uh, Abadango had so much percent anyway. Yeah. And right now, Kameme is only at 104, so I think he's okay. Goes for the down air, not going to happen. It's still kind of unfortunate though, because you know he's such a heavy character. This character has the potential to live to like 200, yep. uh, especially against Sheik and Greninja, who can have a hard time KOing sometimes. Yep. That's the forward throw. Doesn't throw into his teammate. I think he's just trying to create space. 
That was a little strange. He just ran in with the pellet and he somehow broke that up. He was like in between the grab. Yeah. <laughs> it's huh. weird. Wow, Mr. Arch is getting carried up. Oh, I think he went for a footstool thing, but unfortunately just kind of got disrupted. I think, yeah, Aldana was just in the way. Yeah. Uh, not on purpose, of course, but... Oh! Has to up B. Yeah, he has nowhere to go. I wonder if he could have just, like, up B again and pushed him off stage. He got the KO anyway, but... Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, I I feel like the only option that he had there was an aggressive option. Because, like, the air dodge is obviously covered. Um, but I don't know if Mega Man has anything to cover that. Maybe if he did a back air, but... I mean, I don't know if that covers like a 45 degree angle, you know? Yeah. So. Right now, red team with a pretty comfortable advantage. And that's thanks to uh, Kameme, who was only at 25%. Yes. Uh, obviously, I'm done with Mega Man. Very strong, but I think Kameme probably the more, the more comfortable Mega Man player of here. Course, yeah. So you're going to see him stock tank probably a little bit more. It's not over, though, because we know how fast. Oh, wow. So he used. His rush, that was so <laughs> smart from Kamehameha, who went off on the side and gave him his dog. It's pretty interesting that it works like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a little strange. You, go, you used your dog already? Here's my dog. <laughs> Take it. All yours. The thing is, like, she can Greninja rack up damage super fast, and Kamehameha is already, you know, it's slowly creeping up here. Yeah, I think it's going to come down to who can get this next KO. Arch did a great job of living at 172%, and as I say that, losing his stock now on his final stock could possibly be the final stock of the tournament. Could be. And now a little bit of back and forth. I studying use that uh, that shuriken to stop his momentum. I think he tried for an up smash, but he was a little bit too slow on that. Yep. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so right now. Mr. R at 145, living forever with Sheik. They're trying to take off his stock with something. There's the up air. Mr. R does not jump out, though. Yeah. Uh, it looks the like goggles. For, for the most part. <laughs> looks like for the... Oh, no. Did he, he jump? I think he did. <sighs> Whoops. It, I guess it happens sometimes, but I wasn't expecting that to, that to be the way he loses stock. <laughs> Look at that double pellet coverage, man. Coming from all sides. I feel like a 2v1 against two Mega Mans is the most miserable experience on Earth. Like, it has to be. <laughs> turn off, uh, turn off Keep Attack. <laughs> That's just a disaster. Really. Oh. And it looks like Mr. R might be in that position very soon. As I study is at 116. If he gets hit by a back air off the side or shore you at any point, I mean, yeah. he's, he's got to be careful. I think it's going to have to come from Meme because he has the rage. I don't think uh, yeah. an non-rage back air is going to do it. But I agree. Um, it's are covering both Mega Man players. That's it. Um, there it is. 2v1 situation. Uh, Kamehameha with two stocks remaining, so this is this is going to be rough for Mr. R. Very hard. I just want to see if they surround him and just, like, shoot pellets back and forth. Like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Just like Kamehameha staying uh, a little bit closer to the front. He knows he has a stock. He has a stock to waste, but... Yeah, he has something to play with. But, I mean, honestly, this still isn't over. I could definitely see this still happening. He's got to take off Kamehameha's stock, and then he's got to somehow... Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know about that one, Cody. <laughs> no, okay, so you're not going to... You're going to get on me for that one, but not the music <laughs> one earlier? All right, I see you. I see you. And there's Scat in the background. I don't know if you all saw that, but Scat was just uh, chilling in the background, taking notes. Is the one still asleep? Uh... <laughs> Yes. Wow, he really is still asleep. That's crazy. He's out, man. They were up late last night, I think. See, this is why. This is why I go to sleep early. Man. I got a bedtime. That's true. We're old, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so game, I don't know, game number three, where do you think we're going to go? Uh, I mean, they all like Final D. I don't think they're going to go back there, though. If I had to guess, if we're tough. <laughs> really? Where is he? Hmm. He, he likes strategically blocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's there's, good. There's no D1 here. <laughs> so if we're talking Sheik Greninja, um, there is. I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like it's going to be Final D if they jump into it, but if they don't, I'm thinking maybe Dreamland. Uh, I can see Dreamland, yeah. But we, oh, Mega Palatina. Fancy Final D. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought they said only Pokemon Stadium 2 and Midgar. Midgar were the legal Final Ds, but... But they didn't really say only. I think it was just them as well. In ca in any case, I guess this was a gentleman, so I'm sure no one's really disagreeing with the stage. I like the stage a lot. I think uh, it's one of the better Omegas. This is like the preferred Omega for most people. Yeah. 
This is quite the music, though. Yeah, this stage actually has some really, really good music. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty music for the final you know, the final match of this set. That's true. And the loser of this set will indeed be going home. Yeah, this is the final match for one of these two teams. Have to see how this goes. Right now, Mr. R just controlling the stage really by himself. Blocking out both of the Mega Men. This is pretty, uh, you know, in, in the event that Abadango and Kamehameha lose this match, uh, they're probably going to be kicking themselves for not going double Mega Man the first, in the, yeah. the first match because... Uh, I feel like this is probably the stronger team between them two. Oh, wow. Was that up tilt from Abadango? Yeah. So smart, and they tried for the double back air. Did not come to fruition. Right now he's going to do the back throw into the Sheikah smash. Not quite enough. Wrong tra uh, trajectory on that. Mimi is at 114. I wonder if that's maybe Mr. R a little unfamiliar with the actual trajectory of um, Greninja's back throw. Yeah. I mean, they hit it earlier, so I don't know. I. But I, I think it was just maybe a DI thing. I think he was higher than he should have been. Maybe that. It was probably a very tight like window where yeah. he can't DI in a certain direction. And there's the up smash from my studying. And there's another up smash from my studying. They take out both of the Mega Men who are coming back down with that blank expression on their face. <laughs> like, what the hell was that? Yeah, that up smash is actually really hard to deal with, man. If you're anywhere above him, you really can't. It's just like Mario's up smash. You really can't contest it. Yeah. I remember it grabs you. When I used to play uh, Bayonetta, that would frustrate me because you can't dive kick that at all. It would just be dive kick. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's wild. So right now, a little bit of back and forth. Mr. R is the guy to watch here. That's so crazy, man, uh, how strong of a projectile that Metal Blade is. It, it, you know, it's not just a projectile that will hit the one opponent. It'll actually go through him and hit your, the, the guy behind him. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can see Mega, Double Mega Man actually being a really, really good team. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, watching this match is really good, but sure, I can see yeah. this being like an actual top tier team. I can see it. If only because that thing that you just talked about, like having that stage control over Metal Blade, just covering two places at once, they just go through everybody. And the up B being, really being able to save your partner with an up B, yeah. and back throw just being so strong and terrible. So right now, blue team. It looks like they're ahead, but if you take a look at Gander at uh, Ice Studying Stocks, you might find yourself in for a little surprise. Mr. R, though, evening it out, getting rid of Abadongo, and really answering for Ice Studying, you know, having lower stocks. Yeah. He I, might have brought this back with I, that one play. Just watching this entire set, I feel like Mr. R is uh, he's being super aggressive. Um, I, I don't want to say the makeup for Ice Studying, maybe. Uh, not you don't want to sound like accusatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. feel you, yeah. But uh, for the most part, it seems like I has been losing uh, more stocks than, than uh, Mr. R has. Yeah. Right there, Abadongo hitting his partner, Kameme, losing his second stock. And right now, he's got no bank for Abadongo to pull from if he loses this one. So right now, the Dutch way ahead of the Japanese team. Tried to back throw into a Greninja up smash. Not going to happen. This is clearly not over yet, though. Yeah, this is absolutely anybody's game here. Uh, really <gasps> depends on what happens right here as I study connects with that up smash. And now we have a 2v1 situation. Yeah, that could have locked it in. Wow, at the... Oh, my God! Oh, these combos. Wow, man, that's super unfortunate. Kamehameha taking so much damage in that last, like, three seconds. That was un... Real. He took so much damage right there that I don't know... I, I don't know if I can buy into him really... Do oh. Oh, 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 oh no, there not like this. Yeah, not like that. I was trying to think of a world where he could, you know, pull it off and maybe win, but... I mean, a back air on, uh, you know, Sheik off the stage right there would have done it, but he, I mean, he would have had to beat Ice Studying starting at 98%. That, um, totally while possible, just a little bit less likely, so... It's very hard. So, unfortunately, Abadango and uh, Kameme will be knocked out at, I think... So, that was top 12, so they're yeah. ninth, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, these boys will be going on into top eight, Mr. R and I studying. That's pretty crazy, man. That really goes to show how stacked this tournament is. Because, That's awesome. Uh, Abdongo and Kamehameha at ninth place. That's not, not what I expected at all. But yeah. like I said, everybody's fighting for that money. $40,000 pot bonus. 40 k uh, so between these, the four events, of course, but still a lot. 40,000 smackaronis. And the people that made it all possible, you can see them right down here. So you've got Zoe. Uh, Zoe or Zowie? I've never... I think it's Zowie. Zowie? Yeah, I think it's Zowie. Wowie, Zowie. All right. <laughs> uh, Esports line of BenQ monitors. Love those guys to death. I've gushed over them enough. Battle Beaver Customs. Uh, these guys will take your controller. They'll put different kind of 
uh, different buttons in it for a certain price, and then you can customize it, make it look pretty, and then they can also change some of the functionality and mechanics of the controller, make yeah. it easier, like shield drop, uh, take out the spring, stuff like that. They're actually here right now. They have the craziest workshop. I don't know if you look back there. They got like no. 20 drills. They, <laughs> bro, oh my it's, god, it's insane. Like they, they got like a Frankenstein game controller, like, uh, wow. <laughs> like workshop back there. It, it's insane, but uh, I haven't they, checked it out. They put in a lot of work, and their controllers look really nice. I, shout out to them, man, just coming out here doing that. Definitely. We've also got DaVinci. We're making all this possible. These guys make a smart drink. It's actually very good tasting. I've been drinking a ton of them. <laughs> how, I got many, this. how many have you gone through? I, about three. <laughs> about three. I can, I, can, I can feel my thoughts, like, in can my I mouth. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on edge, man. But I got, they got blue. They got uh, this mango one, and they got red. They're awesome. You guys should definitely check them I'm out. I got that mango light. The mango's uh, my fa my personal favorite. Yeah, I'm holding on to it. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. So you got that. Also, DX Racer, as you can see, those boys right there, all in.